Should they GTFO 90 Day Fiancé? Hi, my name is Pole, welcome back to my YouTube channel. After making a polarizing splash on seasons 2 and 3 of 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, it was time. Ariella Weinberg and Biniam Scheiber joined the 90 Day Fiancé cast for season 9. Now in the United States together, they married last year. Viewers watched the ceremony. Will Ari and Binny continue on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after? Fans have some thoughts on this. When Ariella decided to vacation in Ethiopia, she had no idea how dramatically it would change her life. Ari previously married another non-American, though that was a decade ago. And Binny both impregnated and married a different American woman in the past. Now, they tied the knot, even if not all fans feel sold on their relationship. On the morning of their wedding day, Biniam showed off his barber skills by giving Fred Weinberg a trim. Sometimes, it seems like he's capable of doing everything. With the possible exception of being a good partner. But he has even shown a few signs of improvement recently, making a few concessions. One of those concessions was the wedding ceremony. Ari and her father's side of the family are Jewish. Biniam admitted that he was not happy about having a Jewish wedding ceremony. However, even he acknowledged that Ari had bent over backwards to participate in his religious rituals and events. Even baby Abby underwent a baptism according to the demands of Bini and his sisters. What Biniam did not acknowledge in the confessional segment was that Ari also attended multiple religious gatherings with him. The two even took a walk to an Ethiopian Orthodox Christian holy water site. This wedding is Binny's first time reciprocating. Ariella made her latest in a long line of concessions by inviting Binny's family to view the nuptials. Even after the wine-throwing incident with Mimi and Wish, they got to livestream the wedding from Ethiopia. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates. We don't always agree with Ari's decisions, but letting Biniam's siblings watch was the right call. Ariella and Biniam both looked fantastic. Their wedding incorporated Bini's Ethiopian heritage. Even so, it remained a traditional Jewish ceremony. After three seasons on the franchise, they are officially husband and wife. Now what? Obviously, many fans feel divided over this marriage's future. Ari and Binny could remain married for years to come. Or they could do what they probably should have done long ago, and break up. It's not unrealistic. Both Ari and Binny have divorced before. Ariella and Leandro simply grew apart after a decade together. Biniam's ex-wife, like his ex-girlfriend and like Ari herself, reported accused him of cheating. For most viewers, there is one surefire way to keep track of their marriage. Ariella and Biniam could appear on a future season of 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after. That is the purpose of the spin-off, after all, to keep up with married couples after the initial 90 days. But do Ariella and Biniam actually have a story to tell? Some of their drama has felt, well, forced. Being friends with your ex is pretty normal. But we all know that the family invited Leandro to hang out so much for the TV drama. Then there was that ridiculous pregnancy scare. The only real purpose that it served was being a foil to Emily and Kobe's disastrous pregnancy news. Was it a real pregnancy scare? Maybe. But it amounted to nothing, so it felt like a waste of time even if it was also a relief. At the same time, Biniam has a history of alleged cheating and generally being a terrible partner. Ariella, meanwhile, makes some very poor decisions and easily riles up viewers. Maybe they're entertaining enough for another season. But that's probably only true if they break up.